don't you greet the, the church, okay. brother? All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Oli and Lars Torgelson here to give you a Norwegian Christmas. No, I'm just kidding. No, we're, <laughs> no, uh, we're going to do some uh, Christmas carols here. We're going to play them through. We'll just play it through once, and then on the second time, then we'll sing all together. So we have three choruses here, and uh, Brother Keith is back by popular demand yes. with Only his him. fiddle. Only him. Yeah, so, amen. So we're, we're glad to be here. It's good to see each of you. Good to have Sister Ali's mother and, and brother with us today, as well as all the others. God bless them. Amen. Amen. So why don't we pray as we begin this Christmas service today. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you, Jesus, for our pastor and his family and Sister Ali's family and others that are with us today. We thank you for the gift that you gave this world by becoming flesh to bear our burdens, to understand what we go through as human beings and to give us hope to provide the plan of salvation whereby we can spend eternity with you. So we ask your anointing, Jesus, your blessing on every aspect of this service today and the fellowship afterwards in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Okay, when you see the words, then you can start singing. Okay? So we're going to play the, the first verse, and then the second verse, you'll sing, okay? <clears throat> All right, brother. for this one, but I think you'll figure it out. <laughs> Second time, though. <laughs> 
for you guys. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So good to have you here today. God bless you. Thank you for joining us at the Refuge of Hope. If you're a guest here today, we are honored to have you. God bless you. We thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to come visit us. And we pray that God will bless you as we celebrate Christ's birth this morning. Got a little kid skit going on today. I'm looking forward to see that and uh, all the other exciting things that take place this time of year. Anyways, God bless you all. Um, what do you want to do about offering? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just a reminder, a few announcements. Um, as we hit your end here, tax season's coming up. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want... You're giving to be on this year's contribution statement. It has to be received by the, at the church, by the church, by December 31st. So remember that as you're doing your fun and exciting taxes. So need to make sure it's received by December 31st to legally count as this year's contribution. So thank you for keeping that in mind. And as always, thank you so much for supporting the Refuge of Hope. We appreciate it so much. And uh, secondly, don't forget, this Tuesday we have corporate prayer from 7 to 8. Wednesday is our weekly growth service. Look forward to having you there as we dig into God's Word. And just looking forward to what God's going to do today. But before we do that, we would like Brother Lee to come up. Is he here? This is so exciting. Brother and Sister Aldrich left us for, uh, I don't know, he must be crazy, but uh, moved on to take another position and uh, just happened to be here today, which is really exciting and so good to see you. And I have asked him to just say a little something this morning and uh, talk to us. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, it's just great to see so many uh, familiar faces and uh, we haven't left you guys fully because we still have our house here and we'll be back you know two three four times a year um, but uh, yeah he asked me to say a few quick things and um, like the story I want to say about Mr. Ali you just the uh, cool part is God is just amazing and you know when you do take leaps of faith and whatnot he just gives you little signs and comforts and so when we first moved out there, um, we ended up finding, you know, uh, UPCI Church and ended up, uh, the first person we met um, as good friends with Mary Beth's niece. And then uh, we met uh, Mel Berglund, who knows, you know, a good chunk of people from back here because he used to live in Duluth. So, um, and then just everybody's been very welcoming there and the weather's very welcoming too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I... I come back and it's 60 degrees and by the next morning it's like 15 and 30 mile an hour wind so uh, that uh, that gives me comfort uh, knowing I'm going back to 50 60 degrees <laughs> probably um, but uh, the one thing I just wanted to say and I'm sure many of you know you know along the way uh, both my parents passed in the last couple of years but what was a true blessing is the Ali's um, you know our whole life yeah, my parents would drag us out to church, but they never really had a connection with the church or the pastors. But then, you know, I think uh, three years ago now, we had uh, Thanksgiving and invited the Ali's over and my parents over, and there was just a special connection, and it just opened up doors for my parents, you know, to kind of open their eyes and welcome Jesus before they pass. So, very uh, 
blessed to grow up and, you know, be in this church for years, and I'm excited to see you guys all when I come back along the way. So, Amen. good to see everybody. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Lee. So, yes, we would like Brother and Sister Ali to come up this morning. Are there kids here today? Did you bring your children to church this morning? Yeah. <laughs> We, um, who else has been blessed like Lee and his family by this family? Huh? Let's give them a hand. We are so blessed to have Brother and Sister Ali with us. And look at this. Their children are just wise men and kings and shepherds and stuff. And we just want to say a small thank you to this family. God has blessed us so greatly by bringing them here. You guys mean so much to us. And uh, we honor you this morning, and uh, thank you. So we have a small gift. Um, what is this? Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops? This must be for your mom. There you go, Ethan. Woohoo! I said the same thing last year, didn't I? Sorry, Brother Ali. And a beautiful bag with all kinds of cool loot for our wonderful first later. Let's give them a hand. God bless you. We love and honor you so much. Amen. <laughs> and with that, I'd like to hand the mic over to Brother Ali. Yeah, we want a speech. No. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. I was not expecting that. I, uh, I love serving, uh, and uh, I'll, I want to die servant. Amen. <laughs> yeah, let's just put it that way. So thank you, though, for your kindness and uh, your love that you show towards uh, us and our family. Um, we are just a small part of the big work that God is doing. That's all we are, okay? And so just see us as another human being. We've got, uh, we're humans, we go through things, we have the same feelings as everyone else and, and go through the similar things. So I don't want to be seen as any <laughs> great guy. I'm just doing my part, my small part for the kingdom of God. Amen. And so let's leave it at that. <laughs> but I thank you for your love and kindness. Appreciate it so, so, so very much. Um, so today... Uh, the focus is on our children. Amen. How many of you love the Refuge of Hope kids? Amen. If you love them, give them a hand. Amen. They're about to come in, and they're going to be doing a short skit. So why don't you just make a noise, all right? Just make some noise uh, for the children of Refuge of Hope. A little louder. Yeah! Praise God. We love our children. So would you come and they will have a, a skit. Hail, hail, hail. Are you trying to get a taxi? No, I'm practicing. I have great news to deliver to everyone on earth, and I don't want to get it wrong. What's the news? A baby will be born in Bethlehem, and he will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. Didn't that happen a long time ago? Yes, and it's about to happen again. And I need someone to share this. Sto I, s I need someone to share the story so that all these people can share in the miracle. You do know the story, right? Well, yeah, I think so. The first thing that happens is that an angel appears to Mary. Hold that thought, I don't want to be late.
town called Nazareth, there lived a woman named Mary. She was engaged to a man named Joseph. One day, God sent an angel to her. At first, Mary was afraid, but the angel said, Hail Mary, God is with you. Wow, what does this mean? Well, in your case, it means that you will have a baby. He will be Christ the Lord. But that's impossible. Nothing's impossible with God. He will be a child of the Holy Spirit. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. But, uh... Does God really love me that much? God loves all his children, past, present, and future, but you are special because you have been chosen by God. If God wants me to do this, then that's what I will do. A few days later, the angel visited Joseph in a dream. Hail Joseph, God is with you. Wow, what does this mean? Well, in your case, it means that your fiance, Mary, is gonna have a baby. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. But that's impossible, like impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. Are you sure, Angel? Trust me, I'm an angel. <laughs> when Mary and Joseph were getting ready to have the baby, they had to take a last minute trip to Bethlehem. They rode on a donkey because Mary got tired of no one offering her a seat on the subway. I don't think that's in the story. Who's telling it, you or me? By the time Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they were very tired. <laughs> oh. Look, a hotel, we can stay there. I'm sure an angel will appear and show us what to do. Let's just stay in that barn. Good plan. didn't take her health insurance. All the animals gathered around and right away everyone knew how special this moment was. Meanwhile the angel visited a group of shepherds who were up late guarding their sheep. Hail shepherds, God is with you. Wow, what wow, what does that, that mean? mean? It means that over in Bethlehem, a baby has been born. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. That's amazing. No, that's amazing. amazing. Where can we find him? Go that way and look for the baby. And when you find him, share the good news that Jesus has been born. And suddenly the angel was joined by a whole bunch of angels, and they started singing. and all the an angels and all the animals squeezed together to celebrate Jesus' birth. There's great rejoicing in all that. Wait, it feels like someone's missing. I don't think you can fit anybody else. Wait, I'm sure there was. 
Oh, that's right, the wise people. I guess we'll have to be a little late. In the east faraway country, the wise people saw a bright star rise in the sky. Whoa, what does that mean? Follow that star until it stops, and there you find the baby Jesus. He'll be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He'll teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. Let us go now and see this baby. Wait, we should bring presents. Good idea, let's bring him gold. And frankincense and myrrh. What's frankincense and myrrh? Things that smell really good. And so the wise people bought Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, which are things that smell really good. That's just the beginning. We have to share the good news with everyone else in the world. But that's impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. Where do we even start? We started 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. Keep telling the story. Hey, that refuge of hope, God is with you. Wow! What does that mean? Well, in your case, it means that I bring you good news and great joy for all the people. For unto you who is born the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Keep spreading the good news today and every day. Jesus is born. If any of you would like to get a picture of your children with costumes on, you're most welcome. They'll, they'll try their best to just stay together for a moment. And you can grab a picture. And, uh, and would you give them another hand uh, for a fantastic, fantastic job. Amen. There you go. All right, guys. We want you to smile as big as possible. Amen. Say, Jesus. Is us. You guys are the heroes. Amen. We love you all. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your effort. You guys did a fantastic job. And, and I can only imagine the chaos that was in that, that stable. And we heard, uh, we, we had sheep running around. We had, uh, we, that, that's how it had, would have been. Uh, oh, <laughs> all kinds of animals running around and, and in the midst of the chaos, Jesus was born. So, so we thank you. Would you give them another hand, please? Praise God. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so very much. You may be seated for just a minute and I want to say thank you so much for being here today, uh, each and every one of you. Um, and uh, just just before we uh, 
We're going to have every child receive a gift uh, in, in just a moment. But I just wanted to say thank you to our Sunday School Department uh, for working so hard to put this together. Uh, there was so much happening. We did not even know we'll be able to have the platform kind of semi-ready for this. But, but here we are. We're so thankful for, for what we can have today. So thank you so much, Brother, Brother Lopez and Sister Lopez, for, for doing this and just putting a Christmas... Christmas program for this year. Amen. Uh, parents, thank you so much for bringing your kids uh, at full practice and, and, and being here uh, during pra practice time. And there was something that, that Mary said that if I can just grab your attention for just a short moment. She mentioned in Luke chapter 1 and verse 35, the, as the angel visited Mary uh, and, and was talking to Mary and the angel answered, Luke chapter 1 and verse 35 to 38. Uh, and, Mary, and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, ha she, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren and uh, and uh, so the angel is explaining to mary and he begins to say for with god nothing shall be uh, impossible and mary goes on to say in verse 38 and mary said behold the handmaid of the lord be it unto me according to thy word and the angel departed from her in all the expl explanation that the angel gave, uh, Mary said these words, Be it unto me according to thy word. And today as we celebrate uh, and think on the birth of our Savior, there's something to be noted of this lady, this, this woman that the Lord chose to bring forth the, the the son of god and this is probably one of the greatest consecrations a person could possibly make and that is to wholly give themselves to his word to god's word and to see that mary was willing to give of herself wholly to god and say whatever you want lord whatever it is that that needs to come through me happen through me i'm willing for it to happen and it, it will be according to his word whether saved or unsaved it doesn't matter it will happen according to his word in mark chapter 16 and verse 16 the bible says he that believeth shall be saved the he that believeth not shall be damned doesn't matter which way it will be the will of god and today we want to make the strong emphasis upon the thought of being completely given to obedience to his words and uh, the, the word of God the word of God is the final thing the word of God is the final word and if you see in the scripture in the New Testament when Jesus went to Peter he's and Peter saw Jesus and Peter was toiling all night and could not find fish and and Jesus said cast your net on the other side at that point Peter had Peter had the option to either to believe the words of Jesus or not to believe his words and Peter answered and said, Nevertheless, at thy word, I will do what you're trying to tell me. I will let down the net. And so that day, Peter saw the blessing of God. And today, I would like to ask us, Mary, you see, had suffered. Mary had suffered much because of her great consecration. She chose to believe and to obey the word of God. And doing so, she took the chance of losing Joseph as her espoused husband. And she 
God spoke to Joseph and explained the situation. Uh, but Mary had a choice that day to either obey the word of God uh, or to choose otherwise. Uh, and we see throughout scripture uh, that Mary was mentioned, but very few times does well, is Mary mentioned. And we see Mary at the wedding in Canaan. We see Mary at the temple at the age of 12, the, the, the life of Jesus. Uh, and we see Mary at the crucifixion uh, uh, at, the, at, at Calvary. We see Mary at those places, but, but the, there's a great uh, understanding. Uh, the word that she had spoken, be it unto me according to thy word. Uh, and then we find Mary in the book of Acts. Uh, Acts chapter 1, uh, and you look at verse 13 and verse 14. Uh, she was at the temple on the day of Pentecost. Uh, it was not over for her. Uh, be it unto me according to thy word uh, was not over for her. Uh, she heard the voice uh, way before Jesus was born uh, and she was willing to be obedient and she obeyed the message on the day on the act on the day of Pentecost when Peter stood up on the on the day of Pentecost and say repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost that day even that day this is after the birth of Jesus after his crucifixion after his burial and after his his resurrection you would have thought that Mary's obligation and Mary's job was over but it was not so what she mentioned to the angel to the Lord be it unto me according to thy word that day on the day of Pentecost it was her decision and her choice whether to obey the word of God or to say this doesn't apply to me I am Jesus's mother and and this doesn't apply to me. But that day, the Bible, if you read the book of Acts, you see on that day, she received the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the 120 on the upper room. And that day, she was with the part of the 3,000 that was added to the church on that day. She was not only baptized and by the Holy Ghost, but she was also baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins. That's the word that God God has today uh, when we think about uh, the birth of Jesus Christ uh, it all boils down to uh, uh, what are we going to say uh, be it unto me according to your word Jesus uh, be it unto me uh, that before we walk out these doors uh, before we walk out these doors uh, that we make up our mind uh, that we will do uh, what the word of God tells us to do uh, we can celebrate uh, celebrate all the gifts uh, and the commercial things that's going on uh, but at the end of the day Day, uh, at the end of the day uh, this is what matters saints of God uh, in all the celebration uh, let's not forget uh, be it unto me uh, according to uh, your word God uh, and whatever you do throughout this holiday season uh, make sure that your life uh, is in line uh, with the word of God uh, whatever the word of God says uh, that it will be according to his word amen and I don't want to lose the reason for this season. We can get caught up with all the things that is going around. But Jesus is the reason for this season. I like gifts. I like celebration. I love parties. Don't get me wrong. I love all of that. But in the midst of all of that, this is where it boils down to we've got to share the good news of his birth and the responsibility us is on each and every one of us and so today as you bow your head in prayer I like us to just pray and I want to pray for our children as well and after that you guys you did a fantastic job what we'll do here is every child, what I want to do is every child here will make a line and just come down the aisle and you can pick a gift from this table, whatever gift you want. So I understand that if you're in the back of the line, you might not, want, you might not get what you're really eyeing right now. Uh, so what I will tell you is that you can take a gift and then afterwards 
you can try and trade with your friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if they will trade. <laughs> so that's what we will do. But before that, would you still, let's all stand to our feet here. It's a fantastic day with our children. And I thank you for being here today. There's lots of celebration, lots of traveling. I know that there's uh, going to be a busy week for everyone. But would you uh, just for a moment, just for a moment, as we close our eyes and, and just think on the Savior's birth. Uh, and as, as I mentioned, uh, and think on these words, God, beat unto me according to thy word that 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 we will we will wherever we are in our walk and life that for a moment that you just as you close your eyes would you just focus on this jesus that when he came he changed the world and he is here today uh, to meet you wherever you are in your journey of life and he's here today to meet your needs so would you for just a moment would you just think on your savior and think on jesus just put everything aside for a moment and would you just focus your attention on this jesus who came to this world so that you and i can be saved he came to this world to take Take away the sins of this world. He came so that he can heal the broken hearted. So would you, that's it, just, just let your voice out and just meditate and focus on him for just a moment. Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for what you have done. We thank you, Lord, for you loved us so much that you crawled on that ignominious cross and you died for us, oh Lord Jesus. But you have mentioned, oh God, that you'd rather rem us remember the death and the birth oh God but we are so thankful that you came you are we are so thankful that you came that we can be saved today that we can have salvation today oh Lord for you have brought joy to our lives you have brought peace to our lives oh God and as we stand here before thee oh God we cannot repay for a drop of blood oh Lord but we ask thee oh Lord that you'll help us oh God help us oh Lord I pray this day going forward oh God that we will make up our minds that we will be obedient to your word I pray Lord that you'll illumine minds and hearts in this place oh God I pray Lord that you'll touch lives let your healing virtue flow through every soul in this place oh God I pray for every family oh Lord let your hand be upon them let your hand oh God lead them guide them oh Lord let the joy of this season come upon them and their families families oh lord uh, let there be a merry christmas oh god uh, let there be truly a merry christmas oh lord uh, in every family i pray uh, we pray for our children oh lord jesus uh, that your hand be upon them uh, that you lead them that you guide them oh god through this treacherous world uh, i thank you lord for their lives uh, let your angels encamp around them oh lord uh, and i pray a blessing uh, i pray a blessing upon their lives uh, we give you praise we give you glory uh, and we give you honor uh, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we pray uh, in the name of Jesus we say amen uh, would you clap your hands and magnify God uh, in this place in Jesus name in Jesus name Jesus name praise God amen amen God bless you thank you so mu very much for being here uh, and uh, and uh, we would uh, if if you've got your children would you just send them through this aisle here and uh, <laughs> I'm delayed I'm delayed in my reflexes here they 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 have been so would you would the kids just come in and just line up uh, just a second I I think we'll go from here okay we'll go from we'll go from here. Why don't you shake someone's hands while these kids are just picking a present. Amen. We love these kids and as they go through. Uh, uh,
praise the lord there's coffee in the foyer if you'd like you have we have some coffee in the foyer that you can just visit with uh, with each other uh while these children are taking their gifts god bless you thank you for being here today you're dismissed in jesus name we love you merry merry christmas